Well, we have changed clubs once again. We are now in League One with Fleetwood Town. If you haven't seen why in the last episode, then go and check it out. Absolutely crazy stuff. We we, we started the episode looking like we were going to go to Charlton. Then the game crashed. Holidayed it forward. Got the Fleetwood job. What do you know? What do you know? But I'm really excited about this. I think it's going to be a good little project to, to have. I think we've got a decent squad. We've got a lot of unhappy players, so we're going to have to uh, work that one out. But, yeah, Fleetwood on the on the West Coast, um, about three hours from Burton, as we're going to see now. So here we are. You can see my ugly mug here. Um, yeah, so Burton-upon-Trent is... Um, is is down here near Derby and Nottingham, uh, so we have to come up the the A50 and then onto the M56, M62, then the M6, M55. So goodness knows how many motorways we've got, but it's uh, it's up towards the the Blackpool area. Uh, Lancaster is where the miss is at, is at uni. Uh, she won't be now, five years into the future. But uh, no, it's it, it's an all right route. There's a lot of traffic in and around Fleetwood, but it's uh, it's got actually it's actually got a beach, lower lighthouse. It looks like quite a nice place from from this. Um, so we've went for a three bedroomed house this time. We're earning one point four thousand pounds a week, um, which is about. Well, uh, it's it's about sixty five, seventy grand a year, uh, and if you times that by four, we can probably afford a a two hundred and eighty thousand pound house. But we're we're gonna we're gonna be a budget type of person, and we're gonna go up in the market ninety five thousand. We've been going for sort of sixty five thousand previous to this, but we've gone for this house here, three bedroomed, semi detached house in um, Fleetwood. Nice garden. Uh, I think this is one of the things that attracted us to it. It's it, it looks all right. Bathroom's a bit small, but the garden, as I said, is is very very nice, um, and certainly would be nice in the summer. Kitchen. I mean, I'm hoping that's a utility room, but I think it's a kitchen. It left a a lot to be desired. Uh, there's the dining room. Looks okay. Um, there's a sitting room. Definitely needs updating. Uh, the master, uh, sorry, that's uh, one of the the single bedrooms. So I guess it's a double bed or three quarter bed. Yeah, we definitely need to, to have our swing on this place, and hopefully we'll be in Fleetwood long enough to be able to make that worth it. Let's get into some football manager, shall we? Hey guys, welcome back to Small Football Manager 2018 and part 7 of season 5 of The Journeyman with our brand new club Fleetwood Town. And today we have our first game in charge which is going to be against West Brom under 23s in the Checker Trade Trophy. We still have a chance of going through in that. Um, let's see who's favourite for the Burton job, shall we? Have they approached anyone yet? Doesn't look like it. Um... Neil Redfern. I think he managed Nottingham Forest at some point, didn't he? No, Leeds United it was. And then Rotherham, Portsmouth, and now uh, possibly Burton Albion. We've got a cat in the background yet again, acting very eerily. Um, anyway, shall I introduce you to the squad? Here we go. This is the squad. Um, I mean, goalkeepers wise, we've only really got one. Shall we have a look at the squad depth instead? I think that might be a little bit better a way of doing it. Uh, so if we go into that. Um, so Alex Keynes is our best goalkeeper. Simple as that. He's, he's 28 years old. He's played for Fl Fleetwood for absolutely years. But he does want to leave. So we've said if we get an offer for him, uh, we'll let him leave. Um, Kieran Freeman and Nathan Thompson are our best right backs, but Victor Nirenold uh, and Matthew Virtue can also play out there. Um, in the middle, you've got Ashley Easton, um, I guess Connor Masterson, uh, Andy Boyle, and Jack Elliott, uh, as well as Nathan Thompson, are our good central defenders. We've got Joe Maguire and Will Wood on the left hand side. Uh, Neil, uh, sorry, Nathaniel Cooper, 18 years old, on loan from Hull. 
uh, who are in the championship. He's our best left midfielder. Um, and then in the middle, you've got uh, Matty Cash, Matthew Virtue, Lee Bonnell, uh, and Adam May, who are, are, are the best central midfielders. And then on the right, Matty Cash and Matthew Virtue, looking very, very good. Wes Burns also in there. Uh, and then up front, you've got Paul Glatzel, uh, Ashley Hunter, and Wes Burns up top. But we do have a little bit of cover. Um, it is quite difficult. Uh, Shall we go for that? Yeah, that doesn't necessarily change anything. Anyway, um, yeah, it's go It's going to be tough. If we have a look in the competitions, we're currently in 20th in the league. One point clear of relegation, 13 points off the playoffs. I mean, that's a bit ambitious. Uh, we're still in the Checker Trade Trophy. If we win today, then we could potentially knock West Brom out and go through the second round of that. We're already out of the Carabao Cup. And in the FA Cup, we were so close to getting Burton Albion. They were the next name out of the hat. But who we do have is either Peterborough or Doncaster. So two teams that are in our league. Um, that's going to be quite a tough match, whoever we get there. The, the expectation is to avoid relegation. Uh, the finances look fine, 3.5 million. If we look at the projection, though, it is going down quite substantially. So we'd like to get promoted this season, if possible, uh, to make sure that the finances stabilise themselves. But I don't think we're going to get promotion this season because this is the start that they've had. They had a wonderful 3-0 victory on the, the opening day to Rivlod's team, good old Swindon. And then um, they went through in the Carabao Cup. They went out eventually to Derby County. But then what a horrific run that is. One win in about 15, something like that. The manager gets sacked. They suddenly win two of the next three. So if we can keep that sort of form up, then we're looking good. This is the tactic that we're going to go for. It's just a simple 4-4-2. Obviously, my philosophy in this save has been sort of very attacking. 4-2-4, uh, 4-3-2-1, no, 4-3-1-2. And, of course, the diamond, which has been a, a big part of the series. We're going to go back to basics, so a 4-4-2 on count and structured. More direct passing, hit early crosses, play wider, close down more, get stuck in, deeper defensive line. And this is the team that we're going to go for today. Alex Keynes will start and go with Nirenold at right back. Masterson and Eastham at the centre-back uh, centre positions. And Will Wood at left back. We've then got Virtue, Cantwell, May and Mally in the midfield. And Wes Burns and Paul Glatzel up front. Who we had at Burton Albion last season. We didn't really play him that much. I think he made yeah three appearances. He hasn't done much better this season. So um, don't expect him to be in the side post-January, but it's tough. It's tough when you join a club in November. There's not really um, anybody that you can bring in unless you can find a free transfer, which is something that we're going to do over the next week, try and bring in <coughs> a top-class striker that can score 20 goals this season like we did with Chad Evans last year. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll, we'll say that. Let's get into it. Oh, I've got this still set up. Send assistant. I don't want to deal with... The, the press in the tunnels but come on lads let's get uh, off to the, the best possible start in charge of uh, Fleetwood Town I'm excited for this I think with Burton we were we were struggling a little bit we were starting to become unstuck but I think we can have a, a breath of fresh air at Fleetwood and we can really really try and do something positive with them uh, and, and hopefully stay in League One this year. Here's Cantwell, that's forward to Mali. That was a bit disappointing, to be honest with you. And we're we're already being overrun by uh, West Brom. This is why I don't like playing counter-attacking formations, but that's what the, the assistant recommended, and I thought two days into the job, who might argue? But here's Glatzel with a chance early on. Glatzel puts it in the back of the net, and it's 1-0. I don't really know what their goalkeeper was doing, but as it stands, we have qualified for the second round. It would be a nice trophy to win if we could do it. Um, obviously, getting through the group stages is probably the most arduous part of it. But Paul Glatzel putting that in the back of the net and getting us off to the best possible start there. Here's Rhodes. Gets our forward to Mabel. Here's Cantwell. Now to Burns. Burns on the ball. Burns to May. May. Ooh. 
It was a nice idea, but couldn't quite uh, manage to get through. Here's Ball. Now to Woods. Henderson. Woods. Dixon. Roberts. Now Henderson. What a goal that is. Ross Henderson with the goal. That was fantastic from them. Um, but uh, another good thing about Fleetwood is that they play at Highbury Stadium, and it's quite a nice stadium when, uh, when I've looked at it. Um, that's currently getting expanded though so we're in a um, AFC filed stadium so we're only getting uh, a, th a couple of thousand supporters every week which is a bit of a problem when you need to up your team um, but we'll, we'll just have to deal with it I think we move into the new <coughs> the newly expanded hybrid stadium in um, April so if we can get through till they survive into next season then I think that's that's where we can start putting our own swing on the team. That was the problem with Burton. Uh, we had the turmoil over the summer where we couldn't sign any players for ages uh, because of the takeover talks and obviously questions over our, our future followed and, and some players wanted to leave and all of that. So it was, it was a difficult summer at Burton and we were kind of doomed to fail from the start. Uh, and I think we did we did the best we could there. I don't think there was much else I could have done. Uh, and, and when you feel like that about a team, it, that's when it is time to leave. Um, oh, Mally's not having a good game. Let's bring... The thing is, everybody's knackered as well. Um, do we... Do we bring in a bit of asymmetry in here? Perhaps we do. This is This is stupidity. I realise it, and we're doing it in our first match, which probably isn't the best idea, but why not? Why not? We'll put Freeman at right back. Um, yeah, we'll go for that. Come on, boys. Come on. This is your chance to, to impress everybody. Cantwell in, and the middle Masterson puts it in. It's 2-1, and now we have to ask, what do we do? Is it the tactic that's doing that? Obviously, it was a set piece, so... You know, ignore what's happened, but a lovely little cross and a good header from Masterson. And we're now 2 1 up, and as it stands, once again, we are through to the second round, which would be really, really good. Cantwell with a free kick, it's Easter, and it's a penalty. Yes, that's what we wanted. Number two is taking it. Who is number two? Number two is Virtue. Matthew Virtue steps up, puts it in the back, and then 3 1. This is the perfect start. In charge of Fleetwood. I know it's Matthew Vine. Did I say Matthew? I think I did. Perfect start to our reign. I know it's only the Checker Trade Trophy, but it's a win nonetheless against a decent West Brom under 23 side. Um, and the Premier League under 23s aren't, aren't to be sort of um, underestimated because they have a lot of the unwanted. Uh, sort of Premier League players in there. So here's Freeman. Gets it forward to Glatzel now. Ooh, here's Henderson. Roberts. Gordon just wide. Ooh, a little bit easy to, uh, to open up there. But uh, here's Freeman now to Virtue. Freeman into the middle. Here's Cantwell. May. Glatzel, Mally puts it in the back of the net and it's 4-1 what a start for us in charge of Fleetwood and hopefully this will give us a little bit of confidence going into the next few games and hopefully the players uh, will trust in my sort of methods if you like after this encouraging first performance uh, and it looks like we are going to go through now well we should do unless Ackman and Stanley who are there um win um, or yeah win their match against Berry. but uh, here's Dixon into the middle it's away by Burns and that is the final whistle yes come on that is brilliant passionate we got what we wanted that is what we're talking about by the way if you've come over from Lelouchos channel a big hello uh, my draft with him was on his channel yesterday if you haven't seen it already go and check it out it was a load of fun to record and uh, my video uh, the second leg of that match will be on this channel at eight o'clock on Monday so hopefully you can enjoy that um, 
but no, a, a really positive start at Fleetwood. I think I think we can be pleased with that. We qualify for the Northern Section second round, which is what we were expected to do. Glatzel had a good game, 8.7, which is something he's never done for me before. So, positive signs. We've won three of the last four games. Uh, granted, three of them I wasn't there um, for, but it's, it's a positive start. We've got... Uh, Rotherham and Charlton in the next couple of matches, but I think I will be back for the Coventry and Cambridge. Oh, no, I'll come back for the Cambridge and the FA Cup game, and uh, we'll see if we can get through to the third round of the FA Cup. If you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. It really, really does help out the channel. It really does mean a lot to me as well. Big hello to any Fleetwood fans that are out there. I will be managing your club for hopefully the next three and a half seasons and we can get them up to the echelons of the top half of the championship. I'm saying it now. That's where I want to be in three and a half years. Subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more for daily FM18 content and I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.